what's up goodies welcome back to your channel and to my kitchen how to cook and today we are making curry cold foot and spinners in other kitchen fast using simple make sure you subscribe with it if you have not already and turn on your post notification so that way you won't miss any of these upload and for all i'm a returning goodie on the don't know some love or not on the ready for cook come on let's cook look what prayer can do Hypocrite and bad mind must flow. The same mouth will tear for you. And the same one them will turn round and boo. Yeah. Pray on me, I use and win. Pray on me, I use and win. Okay, goodies. Let's jump right on into the recipe without any delay. Now we have our cow foot here that has already been washed nice and clean with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. You want to be sure that you're meat is clean before you start seasoning all right now what i'm going to do here is add some salt and pepper to it and we're going to do this as simple as we can but with mad flavor now to the salt and pepper i added some onion powder and then i combined the onion powder with some garlic powder and of course i will list everything that i use for the recipe in the description part of this video now what i decided to do was just add some more of a traditional kind of a flavor flavor to the meat so of course you could always substitute but i decided to use this combo season here and this is not the ultra Rios combo season but it's similar to the ultra Rios. and i will definitely tell you guys how i like it if i like this one better than the ultra Rios brand but i did add that to it now to combine it, I did in fact use my meat and steak beef seasoning from the Ultra Real brand. And of course, again, you could substitute that. I added some to the mix here. Now, if you're still watching me here cooking, please, please be sure that you have in fact liked the videos and that you are intending to share the videos with friends and family. Now, in addition to that, I'm adding some allspice here, but you know me calling it pimento seeds, right? So pimento seeds, allspice, if you have powdered allspice, you could add that to the mix as well. I did add about 12 of those pimento berries to it. Now, goodie. Now, know that this season is totally optional, but I decided to go with this accent here. You might not want to use that. Of course, you could use um, any other seasoning, all-purpose seasoning, or you could have your maggi. Or whatever kind of a season that you want to add to it such as this one you could go ahead and just put it in here um and like i said all purple season right um the combo one whatever it is that you like you go ahead and you add it to the mix right stuff like that whatever you want add it just make sure it's thing of flavor okay now moving right along what i decided to do next was add some curry powder to it because we are making curry cold food so I'm just going to add a little bit of this to it um, and I am using the Ultra's brand and it's okay you could always use, an use another brand if that's what you have but I did combine it with some turmeric powder and once again y'all I will definitely list everything that I use for the recipe as well as the amounts that I use for the recipe now I'm adding some onions to it lots of garlic and I'm using some fresh turmeric all right um to the mix here and ginger so i'm going to all i did was just chop it up really really small add it to the cold foot as it is here give it a nice little season all right now know that um i am going to be using my pressure cooker for the recipe um if you're planning on using stove top you might want to let it sit for a little while and marinate but i'm going to be using the pressure cooker but I did give it about 30 minutes of marinating time. That's all I needed here. Because once you put it in the pressure, it is going to create magic. And everything is going to come together nice, nice. If you want to season this thing up overnight, you could go ahead and season it. As, uh, as you see it here, just like this. If you want to add more seasons, you could go ahead and add those seasonings as well. But this was enough seasoning for me. It was perfect. Um, and I just covered it up and let it sit for about 30 minutes. Now, after that 30 minutes was completed, I went ahead and put the cold foot and everything else into my pressure cooker here. Now, with this particular pressure cooker, I did allow it to cook for 30 minutes. Now, someone asked me in, I think it was my oxtail, a video, someone emailed me and asked me, 
about this particular pressure cooker that I am using here. I'm going to show you guys all about it in one of the upcoming videos, okay? Now, in the pressure cooker, I have a measurement here. I added about, I'll say maybe three cups of water to it. Um, that's all I did here. And then I just basically covered it up nice and allowed it to cook for 30 minutes. And that's what, that's all it took. Thirty minutes later, I came back. The cold foot was nice and tender. It was nice and soft. Now, if you want to finish up your recipe in a pressure cooker, you could go ahead and do that for sure. But I did transfer everything into the pot on stove top because I, I prefer to finish it on stove top because I am going to put spinners to it. But um, you'll see later on. And I did kick it up a notch, adding more spices and so on and so forth but it was nice and tender and ready now i did add some onions and scallion and thyme and tomato and pepper and bell peppers and some spinners because that's spinners we are talking about right so to be exact it was one cup of flour um a little bit of salt and um water make a dumpling spinners right now after everything was transferred to the pot here i went ahead and added my scallion and thyme and onion and garlic and everything else to it um and that was it right now i'm going to allow this to kind of cook but before i do that i wanted to add just a little bit more flavor as soon as i added the spinners all right so as soon as you put everything in you add your spinners and you're going to season up this thing again because you want to be sure that everything has flavor all the veggies that you added you want to give those flavors as well as your spinners need flavor too so I, all I did was add some uh, more, a little bit of salt as needed, black pepper. If you want to add onion and powder, you go ahead and add your onion powder, garlic powder, or whatever seasonings that you want to add, whether you want to add all purpose seasoning, beef seasoning, meat seasoning, um, maggi seasoning, whatever season of your choice, you go ahead and add it to the meat. Um, I am going to allow it to cook for another, I'd say, 30 to 35 minutes because the meat is already tender here but i want to have these seasons cook and give the meat additional flavoring okay because it's all about flavor in the kitchen and we're all set to go now after about that 30 35 minutes we come back this is what we'll have here and our fire here was set at a medium heat you don't want to cook it too fast because it's going to take away all your liquids and that's not what we want to have happen here, right? We're gonna work with the process. Now, after that 30 to 35 minutes and we have this, what I decided to do was make a nice little sauce for it because I wanted to thicken up the gravy. So here I have about a teaspoon cornstarch, a tablespoon of water, cold water that is, add it to it, give it a nice little, little mix. If you don't have cornstarch, of course, you could use flour um and add it to it but cornstarch is better preferred for the recipe now here's what you're going to do you're in the middle of your pan you want to separate your meats and you're going to add the cornstarch mix into the middle of the pot the center of the pot okay after you've done that you're going to start to combine everything in with your cow foot and your dumplings your spinners that is combine everything nice and it's going to form a nice thick rich gravy right now we want to allow this cornstarch to come to a cook so we want to give this an additional maybe another five minutes until everything comes together really nice you'll know um how you like it or how you want your gravy to be depending on what you decide to eat this up with um a friend of mine did have hers the other day with um african fufu and it was really 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 good um you can have this with white rice or rice and peas or mashed potatoes or pasta or whatever you like um last week i did make this with um uh what do you say rasta pasta um cold foot curry cold foot rasta pasta i made that for a friend last week and she loved it okay but basically this is it right here um it is all done the gravy is perfect the way that um i wanted it to be and again, if you want the gravy to be more richer, more thicker, you could add a tablespoon of cornstarch instead of a teaspoon. But the teaspoon was fine enough for me here. Our cowfoot is nice and tender, um, and it's it's ready ready to be 
serve y'all and again y'all as a friendly reminder if you have not yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please go ahead and hit that like button y'all um it really does help the video to grow youtube really depends on these thumbs up it really helps to kick the alpha rating up into high gear so just show some love and go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me i will so appreciate that y'all all right so now that everything is combined and everything is looking all good we're going to go ahead of course because y'all know i couldn't leave without putting this good recipe on a plate y'all right just for y'all to see how it kind of looks when you combine whatever it is you want to serve up with it yeah um it's all done y'all it's all done perfect And y'all, if you're not subscribed to my second channel, Life is Juliana, please go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well, okay? Now, here it is, y'all, all done on a plate. It is ready to eat. You could have this any day of the week. It's a good Sunday meal, though. And, of course, if you don't want to have the spinach to it, you could have um, butter beans because we do eat butter beans with this recipe back home in Jamaica. But that is it, y'all. I hope you did like the recipe. Don't forget to share Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell them what's going on over here and bring them come. I'm waiting. And after they get done doing all of that, tell me what you would like to have me cooking next in my kitchen. And remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy.